Okay, so this is once again Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, and I am standing at the entrance to Hog Alley. Right here. Hog Alley right here. Where Dangerfield Newbie was dragged and left to be eaten by the hogs. That's why they call it Hog Alley. I think he was shot in the neck first. Uh, he was a raider, one of John Brown's raiders. Unfortunately, he lost his life in this alley. It's so damn sunny out, I can't even see what the fuck I'm doing. A lot of tourists do come here and travel. Nobody cares that I'm filming. Well, some people have avoided me, but that's natural. I really like it down here at night. Because you can feel the energy the town comes to life. It is a literally ghost town. It's very one of the most haunted places in the United States. For sure. Um, back here. I've been here at night. Back here. I just got a feeling of children playing. A lot of children playing back here. Wonderful times back here. Yes, indeed. Children playing in the background, I feel. It was a peaceful town. There's a beautiful mountains up there. Behind me is an actual tavern, the way it was back in the day. As soon as this lady leaves, I will go ahead and go. I think she walked away, so let's go ahead and check it out. There you go, Whitehall Tavern. So this is an actual tavern of how it looked back in the day. Yeah. There you go, locally directed across from the U.S. Army. Whitehall Tavern was 1830, 1850s community gathering place where white males debated politics, discussed local events, blah, 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 blah. What a place, man. Holy shit, are you fucking kidding me? Turn it around. That's all right, buddy. How you doing? Don't worry, I got it facing this way. I don't like the, you know what I mean? I don't like if somebody gets me on film, I'll probably take the camera and take, break it. That's all right, I just don't want to break the camera. <laughs> take it easy, man. There we go. Nice place. Yes, indeed. We're gonna go over here. Okay, the armory used to be up here, but it was flooded. So they took the armory and moved it here. I know there's a plaque here on the wall. And there was another black man. It was a freed black man who went to look for his family. His name is Haywood Shepherd. 
This plaque is dedicated to Hayward Shepherd. On the night of October 16th, 1859, Hayward Shepherd, an industrious and respected colored free man, was mortally wounded by John Brown's raiders. In pursuance of his duties as an employee of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Company, he became the first victim of this attempted insurrection. This boulder is erected by the United Daughters of the Confederacy and the Sons of Confederate Veterans as a memorial to Hayward Shepherd, exemplifying the character and faithfulness of thousands of Negroes who, under many temptations throughout subsequent years of war, so conducted themselves that no stain was left upon a record which is a peculiar heritage of the American people and an everlasting tribute to the best in both races. Thank you, Haywood Shepherd. I'm sorry you were killed. I think he got shot by a railroad spike. They had no ammunition. So they started using uh, railroad spikes, whatever they can find, and putting it in the uh, bayonet. Looks like somebody's doing a real film. Got them over there. They got the real budget. Me, I'm just doing my thing. So here's the armory behind me. Where the hell is it? There it is. Can't even see because of this fucking sun. Let me turn this bitch around. Here's the armory. They got a real film crew. Go. Okay. Get the nice budget. Me, yeah, I just do my thing. What can? Oh shit! The armory is open. I'm gonna go in there. Here's the freaking tunnel. I definitely don't like this fucking place. Jumped in there one night, can barely get the fuck out. Bad things down there. I know like. Cute puppy. Okay. The war that ended slavery. Actual army, the armory. In eighteen sixty, a uh, contraband African American lives in limbo. In 1862, runaway slaves who came into the United States Army lines were called contraband, confiscated enemy property. As contraband, African Americans experienced a safety net where slave owners seeking their valuable human property were turned away. However, any African American venturing beyond the safety net of the military post could be seized, returned to masters, or sold on, a, on an auction block. Step back to the tense days when contraband stole and defined their own freedom in the shadow of John Brown's fort. Throughout the Civil War, runaway slaves constructed contraband camps near the iconic John Brown fort. Wow. Look at that. And here we are inside. Let me get a selfie. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Here we go. 
going to do your thing. You're sporting the speedos over there. Not bad. Still got some battery life left on this bad boy. Walking under some kind of bridge. We're coming over to where the river is. Here you go, this is what you see. Looking pretty nice, huh? There's the bridge, I've been on that bridge many times. Here's some plaques here. I'm not gonna read all of them, it take too much time, but we're gonna look at them. And this is where I'm gonna bury my cat, Ralphie. When Ralphie passes away, he's going to be buried in this field somewhere in American history. This is a historic landmine. It'll always be here, so I'll always know where to locate Ralphie. He's 14 years old. And I don't know how long the maximum life a cat can live. Maybe 20? But... Unfortunately, we all lose our pets, and he's a good one. Here we go. I'm gonna zoom in on this. Right over here, ready? It's a big mountain. With the railroad tracks over there. I'm just gonna go across the bridge. I'm gonna wait till these people go. Is the entrance to the bridge. Let's get this behind me. Here we go. Look at the river behind me. Wonderful place. Yes, indeed. Wow, wonderful Harper's Ferry. Where three national trails meet. Appalachian Trail, Chesapeake and Ohio Canal and the Potomac Heritage Trail. They all meet here. Wow. And there is a stink bug. Hello, Stinky. <laughs> All 
I think there's too many people on the bridge. I'll go across there another time. Fuck it, I'm gonna go across. Then, it's time to end. Yes, indeed. How many people been to this beautiful spot? Please comment below. This whole area is haunted at night. And the day too, but you, you know, you can really feel it at night. They redid the bridge. I think there was a flood. High school. Got the river behind me. Can you see it? I think so. A lot of people walking today. I'm still gonna get my workout on. Here we go. Get the full view. You know what, it just goes all the way down. There, and then I'm gonna turn around and come back. But you get the drift, you know the deal. What a beautiful place. And that's that. Now you can see behind me on the other side there's a fence. The train runs here. You can see the church where Jefferson's Rock is in the distance. It's so fucking sunny out. Well, this is going to conclude my short video. Well, my video of just a few of the few of the tourist sites that we have here in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. A couple of my favorite nighttime spots to come to is this bridge. Um, we went to Jefferson's Rock. We saw Hog Alley. We saw the tavern, the White, I think it was Whitehall Tavern. Um, and that's it, really. I'm going to take some video on the way back. And that's it. So, signing out from Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, the historic downtown part of histor uh, historic West Virginia, Harpers Ferry. Signing out. God bless.